Hello everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Um, I thought that this is just kind of a little impromptu video. Um, it's Wednesday and this, that, today was the first day that I came off the mountain since I got in. Wednesday was a week ago. Um, well, no, I provisioned the next day, so I, Thursday was a week ago. So. I basically, we went into town today, we hit two places, and I did some major shopping. I don't do shopping like this, but I think I did a pretty good job uh, for somebody that doesn't shop like this, you know. But before, when I was at the beach, it wasn't, it wasn't an issue. I hop on my bike, you know. I didn't have to think about, okay, it's a long way for me to go. I didn't have to think about, okay, letting, buying fruit in different stages and letting it ripen because I could always find stuff. But I did a huge run today. Actually, I've never done one this big. I've spent about 80 bucks. And I think it's probably gonna be plenty, it's definitely gonna be plenty for a week and it'll probably last me longer than that. But anyhow, I just thought I would show you how I'm rolling now that I'm on the mountain. I'm gonna show you everything I got. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll start on the end down here. Now I didn't get any red peppers last week and normally I'll just pick one up every once in a while uh, when I need it. But I like to use them, so I grabbed a pack of red peppers, um, grabbed some uh, cucumber, got some more of those little uh, hydroponic tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. And then we get to the greens. Got some nice kale, and actually the greens were organic. I went to uh, one of our chain, one of the bigger chains down here, and I've got about, I don't know, five or six of these bunches of the kale. Picked up a big old thing of spinach. And heavy, heavy, heavy on the lettuce. You can see all this red leaf right there. I must be, I probably got like about six heads of red leaf lettuce. Bag of onions. Some corn. Got a lot of zucchini. Because the zucchini I use a lot as filler. You know, like in a dressing or whatever. So I got some good zucchini there. Nice big uh, red head of cabbage. That's pretty, isn't it? I'm gonna have to take a photo just of that. And I got some uh, avocados. Now also too, I don't normally buy, I just buy avocados, you know, a day out or on the same day. Hard as a rock, hard as a rock. Ready for today. Probably ready for a day or two from now. Got a few regular tomatoes. Found some nice uh, mangoes. And then comes the base of everything. Now, some, most of these are gonna take some uh, ripening to do. I don't know if you can even tell how many. I don't even know how many I've got. I'm gonna guess that I at least have as many as was in that carton last week. I bet I've got 100. And I definitely went to over 100 last week. So there you go. All right, I'll be right back. Got to learn to adapt. And I look like, I seem like I'm doing good so far. You know, I've got my greens. I, like the basic thing, basic thing and everything was gravy on top of that is I just knew I was going to get a ton of bananas, ton of greens, and then just fill in from there. And then I just started getting stuff. I got some stuff to make salad. My mangoes from last week are still ripening because when you order ahead of time, it's really, you know, you can't expect them to be and down at the beach, it's not the, it's not the peak season. So I've still got some mangoes ripening. Um, I've still got oranges for orange juice. Um, you know, got the four new mangoes. Uh, plus I still got bananas in the freezer, so I'm good to go. So I'm adapting so far. We'll see how far this uh, haul takes me. Now there is a farmer's market on Saturday. I told my buddy, I said, if I'm not too lazy, I might go. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed seeing it, how I'm doing it now. And um, one nice little thing too that I will mention, excuse me, I get, my arm gets tired holding that camera. Um, you know, I've been here in this chilly place and everybody always talks about, and I even talk about it too when I'm in the States, like, oh, you know, eating raw in uh, cooler weather. Hasn't really been an issue here simply because, um, I, I don't know, I don't know why, it's just not been an issue here. And it's probably, I'm probably cooler here than a lot of people in colder places just simply because of the fact that um, the doors are open most of the time. In, for instance, in my mom's house in Alabama, when um, I'm there during the winter time, 
the house is always heated, so you're never actually out in the elements. So it's, I'm actually cooler here than I am at my mother's when I'm there in December. So anyhow, you can do this raw vegan thing pretty much anywhere. But if you don't want to or you can in some circumstance, don't beat yourself up. It's all good. Hope you guys like this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and hope you're doing great this week. Peace.